Hi everybody. I will try to demonstrate to you how to set up VCV Rack and Torso T1 in FL Studio. Now bear with me because I never done this before and the only reason I'm doing this is because there are no tutorials out there for how to set up. People set it up and then they start you know showing things uh, how to patch and everything but nobody is really showing how to set up the damn thing the only person i could find this from was omri omri coin i love the guy a wonderful person i don't know him personally but i can see this he shines through he's a fucking wonderful person uh, but he's not working with fl studio he's working in ableton i i think um so i have to pause his videos and copy this somehow and implement it on fl studio all right and this is how you do it you just copy this all right and save it every time you're going to start a patch you start with this one okay you load it up your fl studio and you do not assign any channel all right and then you go to the wheel here and then the processing and you auto map from one through eight okay one through eight and here are the channels one through eight to the left and that is very simple to do too you go to uh, empty track right click and you go to track mode audio track and do you assign a, a channel all right that's the way i did it and here are my channels this means those channels in vc break one through eight is now represented here they are rotated here all right and let's load a patch now now we can load a patch nobody show you this this part all right now they let's load a patch all right open reason sql one here we go uh, now there's one little detail i edit here you see those that structure that i show you in the beginning is here all right but i added these two suckers fm operator is not necessary but this midi cv is necessary because that's how you start the sequencer and stop all right so when i push uh when i push play now so vcv rig will start to play okay and we're gonna record now but i don't want to record automation and notes just all the clips all right and don't forget the arm your tracks otherwise you won't be recording now let's say that you're in a live situation you're gonna perform and that's how you do it everything is fine and dandy and when you push play it will start the sequencer too all right let's do it just now you're hearing the torso too but, but we don't have to hear that actually let's clear it all right um let's rewind um and arm this okay let's record and play some now I'm using another MIDI controller that you're not seeing on the screen. I'm bringing in the channels. This is the first channel, left and right. I bring it in. Let's bring it in. The bass. And you see this FM operator? I have uh, MPCO 2 uh, MIDI controller. Now I can play this FM operator in the fifth channel. Let's play some. Okay. Now we have the fourth channel. that we are done 
with our performance. Let's fade out. And we're done. Stop. Now let's look what happened here. Oh, I'm sorry. You see, here are the waveforms. And here's our uh, performance. Let's listen it back. Everything is fine and dandy, you see? Now that we reach this point, now we can start mixing it. You see, we can put compressor, uh, whatever, you know, you just mix it and master it. All right, this is the way to do it. Now let's take a look at how you handle Torso T1 in FL Studio. Here we go. You bought your Torso T1 and you go to first to their homepage, okay? And then you go to Sport. And then you download uh, the configuration tool. Uh, in this case, for me, it was Windows, so I download it. And here it is, you open it up. Now this is very important, you know. You cannot open your FL Studio when the Torso T1 is uh, hooked and manipulate from this uh, uh, app, all right? You have to close everything in order to update and use this tool. So you search for updates and you update it, you're ready to go. But the most important thing is here in the middle section and here, just copy this, all right? Not TRS settings, I don't know, I'm not using that. And like I said, I'm not a technologically savvy person. I'm just trying to get by, all right? But this part is really important because um, this decides who controls what, all right? And in this case, uh, FL Studio will control the clock and start and stop. And uh, Torso T1 is going to feed it with uh, MIDI information, all right? So when you've done this, you're almost ready. Then you go to FL Studio, and then you go to MIDI settings, and you find your um, T1, here it is, and you assign a port, all right? Now this part is very important too. Don't forget to check this one, Send Master Sync, all right? That's the whole thing. Now you're ready. Now you're ready to go. Let's upload our patch again. All right. I uploaded the patch. Now, one thing is very important. Here we, we go to the channel cha rack. And you see, I added some kick and snare and hats. All right. And I, I assigned them to channel 13. Tall 12 13 14 here uh, now this is the important one you go to um, your kick and then you go down here receives notes from t1 to channel 1 and when you choose that the icon here is a locked uh, what is the key uh, it locks it all right it locks it to the torso if i unlock it you see it's the usual sampler all right you just lock it by going here receive tones uh, channel one and this is channel two here right and this is channel three okay and and you see it they are assigned to the mixer 12 12 13 14 so here's torso t1 channel in 12 torso t2 3 all right so now we are ready to play Okay, let's do it. We are going to record it. Now I choose to record notes too, but not the automations. Uh, you can also record the automations because Torso T1, you can um, assign CC values. So when you 
play with the CC values, you record their automations too. But I did not assign any CC values. Maybe another uh, tutorial for that some other time. But so I will not be recording an automation. I have a, as you can see, a long pattern here. It's very long. It's like 10 minutes. So I don't have to think about it. Uh, say if I'm going to perform 10 minutes or more. Everything is ready. It's just one click away. Okay. You just arm everything and then you record everything. And when we record, it will record VCV rec in a wave files like before. And the torso T1 will be recorded as MIDI information on the pattern. So all your performances will be recorded. All right, let's try to do that. Let's bring in the channels. Okay, now I'm gonna play with the torso T1, but I want you to understand that, you know, <laughs> I just bought this like three days ago and I just maybe play with it one day. And this is the testament for torso T1. Even a retarded person like me can learn to do something with it after a day, all right? Let's play with it. Let's uh, bring in some kick. Nice. Let's bring in the snare. And you can see it's recording here, the MIDI information. Okay, let's bring in. Uh, nice, too much volume. Let's randomize it a little bit, the accent. The groove. Well, isn't it nice? Let's bring in the bass. Uh, an FM operator here. Let's play with it. played everything and we recorded everything yay finally finally I figured it out let's play it back let's uh, stop this um, we can even delete it now so nothing get mixed up here is our recording uh, I have to change this chair. It's really like, what is this? Oh my God, it's like having sex here. Okay, you see, here's our performance. I hope you guys like it. Just give me a like, comment below, ask me questions, and if I can answer, I will answer them. Uh, keep in mind, I'm kind of slow in the technology but I will try to answer your questions alright thank you guys <laughs>